Welcome back everyone, Michael here with Offshore Citizen. Today we're going to answer a question that I think is uh, very important to just understanding and making sense of how the world works. And this is, will dual citizenship or multiple citizenships lower your tax? Okay, so before I get started, click the subscribe button, check out our other videos, and let's dive in. Okay, so this is a question that comes up more frequently than I would say, and if you go and, not say, uh, more frequently than I would expect. And if you go and you check out our other videos, we have one on the difference between citizenship and residency. And there's just this fundamental misunderstanding that some people have around how citizenship works and how it affects their tax, etc. And so what people often confuse is the idea that their uh, citizenship affects their tax. And generally speaking, this is not the case, okay? So the exception really being the US, okay? So the US has citizenship-based taxation, uh, but every, which more or less the way that I communicate it to people is I say, well, the definition of tax residency from the standpoint of the US includes if you're a citizen of the US, you're a tax resident of the US, regardless of where you reside otherwise, okay? So that's kind of this basic principle here. Now, if we look at essentially any other part of the world, that is not true, okay? Now, here's the thing. What that means is that having a second citizenship can never lower your tax inherently. It can only raise your tax. And the only case that it would raise your tax would be if you were suddenly uh, a citizen of the US, okay? So back in the day when I was young, uh, probably am still young by many measures, but uh, you know, when I was a kid or I don't know, maybe in my teens or something, I had this idea that, oh, it'd be great to have dual Canadian-American citizenship. I didn't understand the tax consequences of having American citizenship at that point in time, okay? So because of that, uh, I didn't realize, oh, suddenly I would be liable for tax in both countries. And yes, there's a uh, tax credit that you can get, so you don't, in theory, end up uh, double tax, but you always pay the higher of the two taxes, okay? So now let's kind of go into some of the side details around this, which are also relevant, though, okay? so. If you're in a situation where you are, say, uh, going to go and get a citizenship, and you might think, oh, I'm looking for a citizenship where they have zero tax. This is irrelevant, okay? And unless you're going to live in that country, this is not going to help you at all, okay? On the flip side, the opposite is also true. You could go and get a citizenship in a country that's not zero tax. For instance, I mean, Cyprus, for instance, Malta, for instance, Hungary, for instance, Czech Republic, et cetera, et cetera. Some of those uh, have trouble with uh, getting citizenship by investment, but at least citizenship, right? And not be taxable because you're not taxable based on what your citizenship is. You're taxable based on your residency and the source of your income. So if you are, say, a Czech citizen, but you're resident in Bahamas, Bahamas has zero tax, you're at paying zero tax, right? unless you have uh, income from sources outside of there, and then maybe they're subject to tax. But at least in Bahamas, you're not paying tax. Whereas on the, the opposite is also true. Let's say you say, okay, great, well, I'm gonna have a Czech citizenship, or sorry, I'm gonna have a Bahamas citizenship, and I'm gonna go live in, I don't know, again, pick some, pick some random place, let's say Denmark. Well, you're fully taxable in Denmark. It doesn't help you at all. So when you're looking at what citizenships to buy or what citizenship to move towards, et cetera, don't be thinking in terms of tax, typically. Uh, what you want to be thinking of in terms of is what kind of freedom, what kind of uh, backup you're going to get, what kind of opportunities you're going to get from that, etc. So that's kind of your, your first basic principle that you really want to understand. Okay. Now, let's kind of dive into some other specifics here. Uh, if you're going and you're going to be uh, getting a new citizenship, right, and you go and you live in some other country, right? Now, because of the fact that it may affect uh, your, uh, your reporting, etc., right, you may be in a situation where you may find it easier because you have a second citizenship in order to not have to worry about being caught in a set of reporting rules. Okay, so let me give you an example of that. Say that you have two citizenships, right? Let's say one is Australian and one is St. Kitts, right? So you've got Navis St. Kitts citizenship, which you purchased, and you have Australian citizenship, all right? Well, normally if you go to a bank and you go and you open an account, they are going to say, okay, great, where are you resident? Show us your KYC, etc." And you're gonna say, oh, here's my Australian, right? 
Well, if you have your Australian, I'm going to look at it, and there's a possibility that under the Common Reporting Standards rules, this may get reported to Australia. Now, if you're not resident in Australia, if you're not genuinely subject to Australian tax, this is not really a problem, right? Like, it doesn't, it does not change where you're taxable, but it may change the reporting, okay? And so this could, in turn, potentially create some hassles for you in the future, depending on how much time you're spending in Australia, what kind of connections you have there, whether you're going to plan to return there in the future. Again, you can demonstrate, hey, listen, by the facts, I shouldn't be taxable here, I'm complying with all the rules, etc. But the headache may be there. Now, of course, the flip side, as we sometimes discuss, is they may also say, if you hand them the St. Kitts passport, they may say, hey, listen, where's your other passport? Uh, which you could say, hey, I don't have a one, right? Uh, that would be a lie in that case if you had them both. But the point is, uh, it's very common that people who have citizenships in these countries, people know that, hey, you may have bought it there. Now, to be fair, it's also true that, you know, people give up citizenships. So it's not inherent that you suddenly are magically uh, in some other situation. The other thing is, there's not anything inherent that says that you're going to get reported to, let's say, Australia in this example, uh, because of the fact that you're in a situation where it's not really what, uh, it's not the only piece of information they used to determine where to report. So it's just a piece to consider. Anyway, I hope that helps. Basically, the bottom line is citizenship is not about taxation. Uh, citizenship is about freedom to travel. It's potentially about privacy. It's about having a backup option. It's about having access to opportunities and services in a given country, etc. And you should decide based on those things, not based on their local tax rates. Hope that helps. Please click the subscribe button, click the like button. Uh, if you're interested, go and uh, check out our other videos. If you'd like to book a call with me, we can do a consultation, www.clarity.fm uh, forward slash Michael Rosmer. It's below on the link. Uh, you can check out our websites, offshorecitizen.net, offshorecapitalist.com, and I'm going to see you guys on the next video.